Pomeranians are known as a small, cute and fluffy breed who make the perfect lapdog, but that hasn't always been the case. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the surprising history of this popular breed. Welcome back to the Fenrir Pomeranian Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss a future upload. So let's jump right in. The Pomeranian is believed to have its origins in an area of Europe called Pomerania. It was the land that bordered Germany, Poland and the Baltic Sea. The area still exists today and is found in Poland, but the name it goes by is Gdansk. The Pomeranians were once very different to the small, cute and fluffy dogs we know today. Their ancestors were large sleigh dogs. They used to weigh around 30 pounds, which is approximately 14 kilograms, and were completely white. They were thought to have been related to the Spitz, Chow Chows, Alaskan Malamutes and the Husky. They were also relatives of wolves and have many of the same characteristics as wolves. They were heavily relied upon for multiple reasons, including sled pulling and protecting livestock. The Pomeranian was bred down for these large spitz breeds and didn't gain the name Pomeranian until 1974. Instead, they went by the generic name German Spitz. Although the common theory is they originated in Pomerania, others believe that they evolved throughout other regions of Europe that had no connection to Pomerania at all. They were known by different names. In France, they were Lulu, Chien de Pomerain, or Lulu. In Holland, they were known as the Wolfshond. In Italy, they had various names, the Italian Spitz, Florentine Spitz, Lupino and Volpino, to name a few. In the 18th century, they became a popular choice in England, and in particular with the British monarchy. When King George III married Queen Charlotte, she brought her Pomeranians with her from Germany. They gained in popularity in England throughout the 19th century, appearing in numerous dog shows of the time. Queen Victoria, like her grandmother Queen Charlotte, was another member of the royal family who was a big fan of the breed. Four Pomeranians were imported over from Italy for the Queen. Hey guys, if you're having any kind of difficulty with your dogs and you wish their behaviour would be as good as my perfect canine companions here are today, I've got the perfect thing for you. I've got a completely free course called The Principles of Canine Behaviour. I created it. It's all about the things that I've learned from my experience and skill set as working as a professional canine behaviourist. There's tons in there about how you can modify bad behaviours and turn them into dream behaviours to have amazing dogs just like these. So if you are interested, it is completely free. There'll be a link in the description box below. I can't wait to see you over there. She loved the breed so much that Queen Victoria went from four Pomeranians to 35 in her kennels. She even showed six of her Pomeranians named Lulu, Beppo, Nina, Fluffy, Gilda and Mino in the first Cruft show, which has now become the world's largest international dog show held in Birmingham, England. This led to the breed becoming even more popular. When Queen Victoria died, she requested that her favourite Pomeranian, Turi, be at her deathbed with her. She died on the 22nd of January 1901 at 6.30pm with her canine best friend by her side. The first Pomeranian breed club and breed standard were created in 1891. Pomeranians arrived in America around the late 1800s. They came to be shown in American dog shows. They were categorised in the miscellaneous category as they were not a recognised breed yet in the US. The breed was first registered by the American Kennel Club in 1898 and the breed was officially recognised in the year 1919. The first Pomeranian breed show took place in 1910 in New York and a black Pomeranian named Canna Prince Charming won the competition. In the early 20th century, Pomeranians were known as good money investments. In fact, you could trade your canine for a lot of money if they were a desirable colour or size or had come from a pure bloodline. The Pomeranian certainly has come a long way from the large wolf-like dogs they once were to become our small little canine companions. 
Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Pomeranian videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Pomeranian Show.